वेलकम मिस्टर पानी थैंक यू मिस्टर पानी हाउ शुड वन गो अबाउट इन फाइलिंग एन अप्लीकेशन टू आर टी आई वॉट आर द पॉइंट्स टू कीप इन माइंड वॉट आर द डूस एंड डोंट्स द अप्लीकेंट शुड नो एग्जैक्टली वॉट दी आर ही वॉन्ट्स टू गेट इट्स द मोस्ट थिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड द अप्लीकेशन शुड नॉट पोज क्वेश्चन इट्स द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग विच मोस्ट ऑफ द अप्लीकेंट्स फेल टू अंडरस्टैंड it is the information you are seeking not the answers for the questions you have in mind exactly applicant should have in mind what exactly i am looking from this particular application there comes you should ask please provide me the x and x document please provide me dash and dash government order please provide me this uh, uh, deliberations recordings minutes of meeting etc otherwise they ask uh, what happened to this Uh, can you get me uh, uh, what is the uh, action taken by so and so on that day same thing you are asking for a government order you can say please provide me the government order regarding this particular issue the same thing in this way also what is the government order on this doesn't make a sense in that so we are seeking an information information is in the form of a documentation normally in some form not orally it's not uh, one more thing is they should remember PIO cannot create information give to you he can only give you what is with him available with available him. with him mm. so when you question when you make an application you should know he has this information in the form of a document or a record so you should ask for that record or a document this is the most most important thing important. we should keep in mind oh. that's what i am saying that's correct that's good what is the timeline to get a reply from rta and if you don't get a reply what should we do I think I should answer in two parts. The time is thirty days prescribed under RTA Act to get the information sought by an applicant should be furnished by the public information officer, the officer of the particular public authority. Next question is uh, what next? In case the information is not provided by the PIO or not responding to his call also. one more thing you can say he may write letter to you immediately this information is uh, i am taking elsewhere i shall take some more time even then information is submitted given to you you have to wait for that without any information the applicant can approach uh, the is higher authority who will be called as a first appellate authority above pao there will be also an appellate authority in the same department and same section or same public authority he can approach him under section 19 one of the rta act wherein he should say i have made an application to your pao asking for this information i enclose here with uh, my application i did not get any reply from some so please do need full and get me the information this is one option the another option is uh, he can also move to information commission under section 18 of the act telling that uh, it's a complaint see when it goes to an appeal appeal authority it becomes an it's appeal oh. appeal mm. when it goes to the commission it's a complaint and section 18 it's very it's a two different things when is an appeal when is a complaint under section 18 of the act yes what it provides what does an ordinary citizen do he knows about rti he knows about um, seeking information through rti uh, is there a form to be filled up is there a place we can go and uh, give the form can you just explain to the uh, listeners yeah there is no form as such it's going to be plain paper and it isn't require addressing and also not required just say on the top application under rta act 2005 that makes sense and then say name of the applicant give your address below address the applicant it better if you give also your phone number oh. and email if possible it will be useful to the pao then say information or bar inspection sought for you write write very, all very that clearly that. what is the information you are looking so there for. is no form as such just no no this is what the, this is the same thing you can form hmm. after that what you, information you the applicant wants then you can say name of the pao and address hmm. to whom he is whom whom is seeking this information if he knows the pao's designation it's very good suppose you know i can tell you in a police station 
पी एस आई इंस्पेक्टर सब इंस्पेक्टर ऑफ पॉलिसीज है पी आई वो यू कैन वेरी वेल से पी एस आई लॉन्ड ऑर्डर पुलिस स्टेशन सो एंड सो इन केस ऑफ बी बी एम पी वार्ड ए डब्ल्यू ई इज ए पी आई वो इज नोटिफाइड इफ यू डोंट नो ऑल्सो नोर माइंड जस्ट ए पब्लिक इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफिसर ऑफिस ऑफ दिस ऑन सो दैट्स ऑल्सो डू इट गोज टू द कंसर्न दिस लेफ्ट टू द डिपार्टमेंट वेयर टू सेंड इट देन हिज एड्रेस कम्स Uh, then comes uh, the application fee, rupees ten. How you are going to pay? Whether it's a, by DD or a, a postal order, etc. And most important thing is to also say the period for which the information is sought. That is from so and so date to so and so date. Information pertains to what date? Particular date. Particular Not period. period. Not period. Uh, uh, uh. That has to be clear. Clear. It's uh. much easier. Uh. And I wish if you want to get the information till next day. Until the last day, where uh, information provided, you can say, start from some date till the date of providing my information. Yes, some files are going on still. You have to find out there is any transparency or not. So the more the delay, more the information. Information. You can say till the last day. Mm -hmm. So pay which you choose when to give it. Mm -hmm. From so date till the date of providing information. Mm -hmm. That means the latest information also on that day available to you. Mm -hmm. Then make an application and give a, a postal order to be. Mentioned there, or how in much money you have to pay? Rupees, ten rupees. Ten rupees. That's all. For that you have to purchase a postal order. Uh, Can't you just give ten rupees? Ten rupees. That's a. You see, what happens here is uh, there are places where the departments do collect cash counters. Mm -hmm. There is possible. Otherwise, most of the departments may not handle cash. They will not have any cash at all. At all. Then we have to give. Then the you see, if you go to the secretariat here, mm -hmm. where do they have cash? Mm -hmm. How do they account for it? For that, there is a section also here where you can, where you can pay cash also. Mm -hmm. DPAR, Department of Public Administration Reforms of Government of Karnataka, has a section in MS Building to collect the uh, cash also. You can pay there yeah. for secretary only. Fine, uh, Mr. Pan, you have started collaborating with the Namo Bengaluru Foundation now. You have started. You have yeah, just yeah, started yeah, with it. Yeah. As an RTA activist, what what role do you will you play in the foundation? See, foundation, as I understand, it's more focused on uh, Bangalore city, whereas my federation focuses on the, the whole state. When I look at that way, I could help the, or I could associate with the foundation, in a manner I associate with a, a local citizen. When a citizen comes to me in, for a help, for an RTI, maybe you are with a broader sense. Similarly, I will be associated with the foundation. To help the foundation to file more and more RTIs properly, and help them to get the information also from the PIOs, where the purpose of uh, foundation is served. That's how I, I could uh, be associated with the what foundation. What kind of information does um, uh, foundation seek? Did you discuss with them? Yeah, foundation say they are into make the citizens' life more <laughs> useful, meaningful, and uh, safe. These are things, you know, mm. health. Mm. So, what kind of information you can get through RTI? Any information, any information. In case of uh, you can think of uh, how the flyovers uh, being built here are helpful or not helpful. What's the cost of it? How long they stay? Look at the very interesting thing. What the uh, you can refer an example. I can give you the outer ring road. We thought it was going to create a miracle in uh, traffic management. Within two years, they are breaking it and going to. Under uh, bridges, roads, etc. I think we should ask for expenses on that. That is that is what RTA can. Is it not so? We should ask them uh, what is the expenses involved in these things now. So then we can uh, at least you know, we are not, we are not going to punish anybody on that. We can just say plan well. That is in future, where you make a road today, for two years if it is inadequate, and go for a plywood underwear and uh, in this thing, uh, plywood and underbridge so. It's a costing. That you can tell them at least in future they can correct. Correct it. These are things can be done, and even uh, there is a multi-story buildings. Whether they uh, do uh, for what to follow the BBM the guidelines. Guidelines. Fire safety most important thing. Fire safety after mm -hmm. fifteen meters mm -hmm. is required. Is it followed? Occupation certificates when it comes to city I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Cleanliness of the roads. Who does it? How frequently it is done? Person responsible for the particular thing, 
what is the action taken on that? Take on that. These things, you know, mm -hmm. the, by doing this, I think uh, I was speaking to one of your uh, people in foundation. I told them, let's not consider the whole Bangalore to begin with. Take ward by ward to begin with. Let's start our operation in some ward okay. or some zone at least. Mm -hmm. So that just goes to the other zones also. This is happening, happening here through foundation. I think they can become correct themselves also. That's correct. That's correct. That's a good one. Oh. And uh, Mr. Pani, how do you rate the bank number Bangalore Foundation? I mean the work that it has been doing. We have been hearing of Bangalore Foundation. You know, it's uh, quite uh, very proactive. Citizens need not come to you. You go to citizens. That's what I. I it's the one, one thing I found out in NGO here like this. Normally, uh, people come to NGOs and say, "This is our." Uh, grievance and can you help me and all this is how the NGO, any NGO works today. As I find here, I've been observing quite for some time, maybe about two, three years now, if I'm right. Right, right, absolutely. Mm. Okay. Mm. They go to people. Yeah. That is the change. That is the that's difference change. you find. That's how that's it stands apart. I find apart. Mm. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Pani, you also heard about the Namma Bengaluru Inst uh, Awards that awards. has been instituted by the foundation. Yeah. What do you think about the awards? Mm. One thing I'm extremely happy is it is not the person who wants to get the award should have make an application. That's one thing I really appreciate. If someone has to nominate him, citizens. That's a nominate. great thing. Mm -hmm. That's a real great thing. Mm -hmm. The people who really deserves, you know, he may not go with a begging bowl to somebody to give me an award. Unfortunately, in this country, most of the awards are like that. That's you go to you appeal for awards. No, that's number one. The foundation is different. That's a yeah. miserable thing. Any, anybody, anybody, mm -hmm. ask for it. Miserable thing. I, I understand. Mm -hmm. Number one, the foundation asked citizens, citizens to nominate. Citizens to nominate, and that's, enough. that's a great thing. Mm 